Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara Hannon from Blooms and Benedictions. And today I wanna hit the highlights of a ton of women from the Bible, the beauties of the Bible that have scads of rich lessons for us to learn and really to get at the heart of the fact that you are essential to God's mission. If you have felt insecure or inadequate or like your voice just doesn't matter that much, that is not true. You are not that different from these beautiful, heroic women from the past that the Lord has woven their story throughout the tapestry of the Bible. And there are so many similarities amongst them, but yet there are things that are incredibly distinct and unique and different. And I believe that the heart of the Father is to show us that we are all essential to his plan. So let's hit the highlights of each of these biblical beauties and how the story of each of them had commonalities that all women are nurturers, mentors, and deep communers with God. And yet they each have a special message to share as well. So first lady that we have to highlight is of course Eve, right? She's the number one, she's the OG. So the highlight from her life is simply that our temptations are unique to our weaknesses. We need to identify them because the enemy certainly has. Number two is Sarah. God's covenant stands forever. You can't screw it up. There are no time limits or lapses, but his promises will require patience. Number three are Rachel and Leah. Comparison is the death of peace and the beginning of strife. If you're preoccupied with purpose, you won't be distracted by comparison. Ooh. Number four, Miriam. Stay in your lane. If you're called to be a number two, then don't covet the top spot. That is a burden that you were not designed to bear. Number five is Ruth. Beauty fades, but character is forever. Simple, but powerful, right? Number six, Bathsheba. When man abandons you, betrays you, or takes advantage of you, God will provide for you and promote you. And finally, number seven, Deborah. God will help you lead outside your scope, cultural expectations, and your day job. You can be both poet, warrior, and wife. There are so many more women of the Bible to learn from, and I will link them below. There is a whole playlist of the beauties of the Bible that you can learn in depth, line by line, the richness of their stories. In all of these unique lessons, there is also a similar calling, that these were women of faith and they all paved the way to Christ. Regardless of their past, their future in Christ was full of hope just like yours. It doesn't matter what you've done. He still has great calling ahead, a future that is bright and full of hope. They fulfilled their destiny and generations to come were blessed for their hard work and obedience. And that can be your story too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And before I head out, I'm gonna leave you with three questions that I want you to really introspectively answer. Number one, what lie am I believing that says I am unworthy or have nothing to offer? Number two, what specific thing is the Lord asking me to do in my sphere of influence? Is it writing? Is it YouTubing? Is it supporting teachers or single parents? Is it stepping into a different career? Is it homeschooling or babysitting? Or is it signing up to help at my church? What is God asking you to do in this season? And number three, who do I need to reach out to for connection? Is there someone that I need to pick up the phone and give them a call or a really long, meaningful text? Is there someone that I need to take the first step in relationship with to join something, to initiate something, to lead something? Remember, you were born to bloom. All you need is living water. I'm Tara Hannon, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you so much. Bye.